hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is tegas creation with another exciting tutorial if this is your first time here you're welcome please please support me by smashing the subscribe button because i'll be posting more amazing tutorial so for this tutorial i made this detailed flower bralette very beautiful and i designed it with spurs the cup is very nice this is how the side looks like and this is how the back looks like please please subscribe 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 youtube says people are viewing but they are not subscribing so please support me by subscribing so let's get right into the video for this tutorial i'm going to be using this um, gold bowl from Lele and white white would be like our primary color i'll be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook scissors and a meter rule or measuring tape so now let's begin so now we're going to begin by taking the measurement of our under bust for this bra top so for the measurement i'm going to be using i'm going to be using a measurement of eight inches as my under bust yours can be six seven yours can be ten so it depends on how you measure your under bust so mine i'm going to use eight inches so i have done one cup already so i'm going to be showing you step by step how i did the other cup and when i'm going to take the measurement when stretched it's going to give me eight inches you can see so we're going to make another one of these together so now i'm going to begin by doubling my yarn because this yarn is very tiny and it will give me the texture I need if I use it like that so I'm going to begin by making a slip knot so now I'm going to make a chain of 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so I've got some 15 chains so I'm going to start the bra cup now so into the second chain we're not going to work in this 15th one into the 14th chain I'm going to put my hook yarn over and make a single crochet there so this one single crochet remember we skipped the first one so it's not counted so now I'm going to make another single crochet in the next chain one single crochet till I get to this first chain here so continue putting one single crochet one single crochet into every chain until I get to the first chain we have one uh, stitch remaining so into this last stitch I'm going to put three single crochet so yarn over put the first one that's one put the second one two so at the second single crochet I'm going to put a stitch marker you can use any stitch marker that you have me i'm just going to put another color of thread there as my stitch marker so on this second one we just did now we're going to pull our thread or your stitch marker there then make it just a free knot there don't tie it too tight because so, we're going to be removing it after every round so now we've done two in that point so now I'm going to add my last one. One. So we have three single crochet at this um, last point here. So this is going to be like our increase. So any when you get to the middle point, that's this second one. We're going to be putting three uh, single crochet there. That's how we're going to be increasing it up. Why not? We're not increasing this side. We're just this is just getting wide on its own but this is going to like bring it up blow it all out so now i'm going to turn over into the next stitch here i'm going to put one single crochet into the next one here i normally work with my wool so that i won't get rough edges when i'm done although i can weave it in you can work with it you can leave it behind so just continue putting one single crochet 
into every stitch till you get to the end at this point i just want to ask you how your day is going hope you're having a very good time i really love the fact that you're watching this video it makes a lot to me please please if you have not subscribed please support me by subscribing i really love what i do and it will be a thing of joy that this community is actually growing please support me by subscribing and like so we're getting to the end of this um of this round i have one more stitch remaining so i'm going to put one single crochet there so we're done with this round so this is our middle point that's where this middle point is where that has this red thread here so this side and this side is equal so this middle point is going to be our increase so now i'm going to turn over i'm not going to chain one i'm going to just turn over like this why i don't chain one because i just like the way it gives me this sharp edge here i don't chain one actually don't bring out this sharp edge so if i won't chain one i'll just turn my work into this first single crochet it gets a single crochet into the next gets a single crochet so just continue putting one single crochet into every into every stitch until you get to your stitch marker so one single crochet i want to like make an adjustment to this my tutorial i just like want to like bring you along with my journey into making words so i'm almost at the end let's not get carried away okay i have this i've gotten to our stitch marker here so now what i'm going to do i'm going to remove it and i'm going to put my first single crochet that's one put my second one that's two then i'm going to attach my my stitch marker back at the second one please don't forget at the second one you know we have to put three single crochet there so i'm going to put my stitch marker at the second one always because we're going to be this round is going to be repetitive till you get your desired measurement so i put the third one now so one single crochet till i get to the end again so this is just going to be the pattern it's not really difficult it's actually easy and i think i did justice to like explain it very well one single crochet to the end is only here that you put when you get to your stitch marker you put three single crochet and the second one you put your stitch marker so that's just it so i really want to like get feedback from you if you do this because this will go a long way to know that actually you're actually making what i what i do and it would be a very a great thing of joy so i'm at this last point here i'm going to put one single crochet there so we're done with this round now so for this round is round two so we're just going to just be increasing it we've done two rounds now so next you just turn your work don't chain one enter the first single crochet put a single crochet then keep working one single crochet till you get to the stitch marker here when you get to the stitch marker here you put the first one and the second one then put your stitch marker at the second one then put the third one then walk your way to the, down here so this is going to be our distant um our repetitive round till i get to i get to this size so this size i got eight inches so when stretched so when you when you finish making the desired cup that fits your bust you can take the measurements when stretched or you can just count but the counting is not usually very accurate so i just like take, take my measurements but make sure both sides are the same so you can still count it using the cluster of two so like if you get make two rounds it gets like a demarcation here so my one is one two three four five six one two three four five six so this is the middle point that i started from so i think i had six years six years so that's 12 12 that's 12 round minus this uh, middle part so just take your measurements and do what is actually better for you so i'm just going to continue working this off camera then i'll show you what i got so we've done the cups we've secured the cups together now so we're going to do the band 
I'll be under the course. I normally do my own separately. I don't work with it yet because I want this place actually very neat. So I'm going to my measurement of my under my belly for the measurement I'm using is 28. So I'm going to make a chain of 20. That 20 inches, sorry, that I'm going to be using as my band because I don't want the band to get all the way back to my back, just by the side of your rib. So take the measurement of your under your belly after your bust line, that's your belly. Then you get the measurement, then you remove from the back. So I got my measurement is 28. I'm going to do 20 inches. So your own, you're going to take the measurement and remove and the amount of inches you want. So if you want all the back closed, you can do the old 28 inches. But if you want the back to be open, then you don't have to do the old 28 inches. You will have to do like 20 inches or depending on your measurements. So now I'm going to make a slip knot. I'm going to make a chain as long as 20 inches. So I'm almost at the end of my second cup. I have one stitches remaining. So one single crochet into the last stitch here. So I'm just going to like stretch it out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this six on this on both sides like so make sure your both cups are the same measurements you don't want one cup bigger than the other so i've gotten my two cups like this so now what i'm just going to do i'm going to join these two cups together so i'm going to hold my back so this is my back this is my back so i'm going to take the other one at this point here I'm going to make a slip stitch from this into this to hold it. So put into that same space, I'm going to put my hook into it, bring it out, then make one single crochet with it so that it can be secured. Chain one, then I'll cut off my yarn. So now I've made my chains. I'm going to take my measurement now. I'm major my measurement is in inches. So when stretched, I should get 20 inches. So this 20 inches when stretched. So that's what should be your measurement if you're using the same size as I am. So now after doing getting the 20 inches, I'm going to add three more chains to it one two three your own cannot may not be 20 your own may be shorter than this so you're working according to your measurement so we added three more chains so that's one two three so into the the fourth chain from the hook i'm going to put one double crochet there then one double crochet into every stitch till i get to the end of this round so continue putting one double crochet One double crochet into every stitch you get to the end and then I'll show you what to do so I'm done putting one double crochet into every stitch so now for the round two we're going to chain up four one two three four this chain four serves as a double crochet and a chain one so the first three chains are a double crochet then a chain one is a chain one so that's for double crochet now I'm going to turn my work yarn over skip this first one this first place here belongs to this double crochet so you don't put anything there so we're going to skip this because this belongs to the chain one hope you're getting it this was skipping this first stitch here because it belongs to because i told you before this is a three these three chains is a double crochet and a chain one so when you turn over you skip this first one because there's already a double crochet there then this chain one belongs to this point here. So now we're going to the third space with a double crochet. Chain one. You skip one into the next one double crochet, chain one. Skip one into the next one double crochet, chain one. Skip one into the next one double crochet. Chain one. Skip one into the nest, one double crochet, chain one, skip one into the nest, one double crochet, 
chain one, skip one into the next one, double crochet, chain one, skip one into the next one, double crochet, chain one, skip one into the next one, double crochet. So this is going to be our pattern till we get to the end. So I'm almost at the end of this round. I have two stitches remaining, so I'm gonna chain one, skip one. So into the last chain three here, I'm going to put one double crochet. So now I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. Now I'm not going to do a mesh stitch, I'm just going to do a normal. I'm going to do something like this in the third round. So we'll do one of this, one of this, one of this, one of this, so you get your desired length. But mine is not going to be, because after I do one of this, I'll do one of this. After I do one of this, that's this third round. And I do one match, that's fourth. So my fifth round is going to be my last round. So my third round now, chain three, I've turned my work. I'm going to skip this first one. So into the second one, that is into the space here, the chain one space, I'm going to put one double crochet into the, on top of this double crochet, gets a double crochet. On top of the chain one space, gets a double crochet. On top of this double crochet, gets a double crochet. On top of this chain one space, gets a double crochet. On top of the double crochet gets a double crochet so hope you understand so i was just repeating the same thing that we did here so in chain one space gets a double crochet on top of the double crochet gets a double crochet chain one space gets a double crochet on top of the double crochet gets a double crochet so continue till you get to this point i'm almost at the end i have two stitches remaining so remember this is a double crochet and a chain one so we're going to put two stitch here the first one goes into this chain one space then the second one goes into the chain three space so one two three on top of this chain three here gets a double crochet so this is how our band looks like now so now for the fourth round we're going to be repeating this round here chain four one two three four which says as a double crochet and a chain one skip one two into the third one one double crochet chain one skip one one double crochet chain one skip one one double crochet so i'm almost at the end like i told you i'll do one normal round then one mesh round one normal round one mesh round one normal round so you can keep continue you can do your own see whatever length you want but for me, I'm going to stop at this row five. So in the last one, on the top of this chain three here, I'm going to put my last double crochet. So now I'm going to chain one, cut off my yarn. So left, what left is for us to attach this to this side. So now, just straighten your work a little so now i'm going to place my cups in the middle meaning i'm going to have some free end here whatever free end what size of free end is this side that's the other that's what's going to be on this side too so we're not going to make it uneven so i'm going to gauge it very well so if you can notice my free ends are actually very small because this measurement is a size medium. Your own can be longer than this, so it depends on your measurement. So now I'm going to take my needle and pass my thread into it. Because that's how I'm going to attach it. So I'm going to pass my thread into my needle. So this end, I'm not tying both sides, just one, one end, I'm going to tie one end. Then I'm going to work with the back. So this is the front now. So I'll turn it to the back. So I'm going to start my stitching from the back. Okay, this is the back. So I'll take the back of this too. Okay. So measure it again. Okay. So now I'm going to pass my needle 
into this one here you can raise it up into this starting point here then make a stitch sew it so i'm just going to sew why i sew my own because it's actually neater when you sew it than when you crochet it but i don't know if you want to crochet it like that you can but i normally sew mine through the back so you just put your hook through here and make sure it's attached to this other side making sure you're taking just the back part don't sew it like this just take small then small from the up don't make sure don't make your needle go in towards the front so just take small small from here so as you can see see how you can't even see my thread so just continue sewing it like this see so you get to the end make sure this your free end is equal to the other free end in this other side so continue sewing till you get to this point here so i'm almost at the end of my sewing so i still have one more here so as you can see i'm sewing it very neatly if you turn the back now you won't always know that i sewed it so now i'm going to tie it very well i'll cut off my thread now i'll whip that in so let me show you how the front looks like okay now there's the front you can see seamless you can't actually see anything look at both sides so we're done with the body now we're just going to do the straps so for the straps so now i'm going to make a slip knot and make a very long chain that will go to my back because i'm going to be attaching the chains the chains will get as long as the side so make a very long chain you can make from 250 chains in each straps so on top of this chain three this pointed part remember we did three single crochet so find the middle one that's where you're going to put your hook then bring out your yarn make is make a stitch that's a chain so go back into it again make a single crochet then make a very long chain on both sides I'll meet you when you're done. You can make it from 20 to 50 chains to 300 chains, depending on how long you want your straps to be. So continue making those chains. I'll meet you when I'm done with these other chains. So for the flower, I'm going to double my yarn. I'm using my other color. I'm going to make a slip knot with it. Then pass my hook now i'm going to chain 100 100 chains so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten continue to get to 100 chains if you want your flower bigger than that you can increase it to 120 99 100 so i have my 100 chains now so now into the fourth chain from the hook you make a double crochet one two three four into the fourth chain so count it one two three four you put it make a double crochet there so this three chains we skipped is a double crochet and this is another double crochet in that same space so that's i'm going to add one so that's three double crochet the next uh, stitch you're going to put another three double crochet into every stitch as you go so for this pattern just put three double crochet you will notice that as you keep putting three double crochet your work is coiling up so that's the idea behind it we want the coils the flower to actually coil up 
So just continue putting three double crochet into every stitch. I'll meet you at the end of this round. And I'll show you what to do in the second round. So continue putting three double crochet till the end. So I'm almost at the end. I see my it's just so curly. So I just have one. So I've done two here. So remaining one double crochet. So now I'm going to chain three. I put three double crochet in my last stitch. Now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Turn my walk into this double crochet. It gets a double crochet. Into the next gets a double crochet. Then into the third one gets two double crochet. So our pattern for this round is going to be one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet, two double crochet in the next one, one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet. So that's what we're going to be doing around one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet. So continue till you get to the end of this round so now i'm going to put my double crochet into the last two stitches chain one and i'll cut off my yarn we're done with this so now it's time to wrap the flower it's time to wrap the flower now so it depends on what you are doing if you are sewing it you can sew it but i am going to use glue to go my own so you can get some of those electric glue but i don't have electric glue so i just use this is a melted glue you use your lighter to melt it but if you want to sew it this is how you start you start from the back then you sew this one first from the back then you move with it like this you start wrapping it gradually making sure this shouldn't go down just take it up a little so that we can get good coverage so as you just have to be sewing as you're going then wrapping so just continue wrapping it but that's if you are sewing but gumming is actually easier to gum it than wrapping so you decide what you want to do so this is how it's going to be so we've got some like this cute flower here so i've not yet gum it yet so I'm just like arranging it so that you see how it looks like. So now I'm going to place it on my work. I just want to make sure it's well fitted before I start gluing. So now I've gotten the coverage I want because I want it covered, like cover the whole entire cup. So I will stretch it out, let it come out very well. So now I'm going to start. So I'm going to start gluing now. Like I said, I'm using lighter. If you have an electric um, gum, you can use that too. So now I'm going to start from this point here. Okay, so now I'll just the electric gum is actually easier, but I don't really have it now. Hopefully, I'll get it soon. So, I'll just put it along. So I'm just walking it around now.
the way I showed you how I wrapped it. So that's how you're going to wrap it. Whether you are using gum or you are sewing it, just wrap it that way. So my, I'm going to wrap mine now. I'm wrapping mine now. So I'm putting the glue on the borders because that's where it's going to stick on to. So I'll continue wrapping it off camera to get that shape I just described earlier. Then I'll see you. It will take a little bit of time. And I'll see you when I'm done wrapping it. So I'm done gluing it. So this is how it looks like. So I think the glue is way better than sewing. So it's best to get the glue. So arrange it. So now I'm going to put it on top of the cup here. Because you can see the flour is ready. So I'm going to put it on top of the cup. So it's going to go to it's going to get to this up here. Just pull it out a little. So now I'm going to sew the flour to the breast and the breast cup so now I'm going to thread my needle I always find it difficult threading needles I don't know why okay I'll tie one end, I'm not tying the other end. So now, so you hold your work like this. So this is the bottom. I allowed it to drip a little. So you hold your work like this through the back. Make sure it gets to this point here. Through the back, pass your, your needle. Then inside that same space, you put it back because we're going to sew it very neatly. Do it the same way again. Pass your needle. Sorry. Then put it back again. So now you're going to sew round this last part you're going to just attach it round sew it round like this pass your your needle through the bottom so this is how my sewing looks like at the back so continue sewing it round like this so you get back here just to secure it so uh, I'm done sewing it it's now actually very Look at how the back is. It's a bit rough, but it's going to be inside, so nobody's going to see it. But if you can sew it neater than this, feel free to sew it. So make sure your work gets to the tip because we're going to start something there. We're going to work with the orange and the golden color. Sorry. So now I'm just going to tie and cut off. So now we're done with this side so i'm going to make a ruffle like this in the hand but not every part of it i'm just going to work on the first 50 chains so now i'm going to attach my golden color i'm 
I'll make a slip knot with it. So now I'm going to work on the hand. So now I'm going to count 35 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. I'm going to put my hook there and pass my slip knot here. I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, then double crochet three times in that same space. So I've done one now, three, plus the chain three, that's three double crochet. So in the next stitch, I'm going to put two double crochet, one, so in the next stitch, I'm going to put three double crochet. One, two, three. In the next stitch, I'm going to put three double crochet. One, two, three. In the next stitch, I'm going to put two double crochet. One, two. So it's going to be three double crochet, two double crochet in each stitch. So we've done two here. In the next one, three. One, two, three. In the next stitch, two double crochet. One, two. So continue working one, one double and uh, two double crochet, three double crochet into every stitch. After you do two double crochet in one stitch, the next stitch is three double crochet. After you do, after the three double crochet, you do two double crochet, three double crochet, two double crochet till you get to this point here. So I'm almost at the end. I have one stitch remaining, so I'll put my my two double crochet there. It's a bit hard. Okay, that's where we did the chain one, so it's going to be difficult. Okay. So I've made my last double crochet, but I don't like the way it looks like here. So I'm going to just gently make a slip stitch. Look at the way it looks like. So I'm just going to make a slip stitch here just to secure it. Chain one, cut off my end. So this is a strap so I didn't do it all the way to the back because I just want it to just get the half part of it not everything so this is our strap so this is the other strap so now we're going to weave in our ends you're going to weave in your ends because we're going to I'm going to show you how it looks like when I wear it on the mannequin. So now I'm just going to do a few touches to. So I'm going to beautify my flower with some pearls. You can do yours without pearls. I just like, like giving it that classy feeling. So this middle part, I'm going to put one inside just to. Okay. So just put your pearls, if you're using pearls, then I'll show you how it looks like on the mannequin. Just weaving your ends and we are almost done with this video. We've gotten to the end of the video. So this is how our bralette looks like. Very beautiful. Please, please make sure you pay attention to the details of how to wrap the flower. Let me show you how the back looks like. So this is how the back looks like. So you can lace it like this also, and it's very beautiful. Please, if you are yet to subscribe, please support this baby girl by subscribing. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.